things are going to be massive. And this is just putting it in the middle of rock. <laughs> A, a neat lesson from just uh, what we've been doing and I didn't want to dig it too deep because that's what happened with Fairgrass Creek, right? It, it was mm -hmm. channelized and it was dug really deep to, to handle a really large amount of water but that's not good for the drain here because once the drain fills up what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to try to slow down the water so you can see I dug a deep channel but as it got closer to the drain I actually shallowed made it more shallow and so the water has no choice but to spread out over a larger amount of soil and in the process it's actually going to help the irrigation of all the plants here do you see the butterfly bush that's sprouted this is a still bay Butterflies love this. And what's really interesting is that now that I've seen and came come to know more about pollinators, the wasps and the things that you see around that I've always been scared of growing up, they're not actually wanting to come around you. You just had bright enough colors on that you look like a flower to them. So they're really just trying to go to as many different flowers as possible. And so you can see bees and wasps just going to their favorite ones. It's really cool. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought about that, right? Slugs actually got these irises in the pot. So, <laughs> yeah, so not everything makes it, but the ones that do really thrive. And uh, Richard, you know what I was telling you about that weather pattern that follows the creek? Mm hmm. It's happening right now. So, Beargrass Creek is the lowest point in this whole area, right? And that's where all the moisture, all the water drains into. So, what you're seeing here is actually uh, the front is moving in, and it'll actually follow the path of Beargrass Creek. And what that means for this area is that we actually get proportionally more rainfall than other areas that are more heavily forested, that are on ridge tops. Uh, because we don't actually have any kind of protection from these storms coming in. Apparently 1997 in this area just completely submerged everything. That bear grass, that bridge that you crossed over on Goldsmith was underwater. 